fix. A little bit of poor cable management, but you know, I try. I try. I don't know, my chair is sinking all of a sudden. Ah, so fucking annoying. And as if nothing ever happened. But something did happen, I destroyed my fucking desk. And I'm so incredibly mad right now. I'm still even after fixing it, my entire desk, incredibly calmly. I'm so incredibly fucking mad right now. I think the best course of action I could possibly take is to never touch this shit again. The anger that I feel is resounding, ladies and gentlemen. It's resounding. It's genuinely, and completely and utterly resounding. I feel so angry to the point where my mind is blank. It's, 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 it's often troubling. Any thought that I get, I have to try to express verbally. I have anger issues, ladies and gentlemen. And video games only seek to amplify it, to continue it. emphasize it I'm tired I'm tired of the video game I'm tired of investing my time in the virtual world I'm tired of getting angry over fucking chess and I'm not completely and utterly stupid I can sit down and think and I'm thinking at the moment and I'm thinking although my mind is like 99% filled with rage there is that 1% that is filled with thought that thought is bro you're raging over fucking chess You're raging over Apex Legends. You're raging over Rainbow Six Siege. None of this shit is real. Okay, you lost 20 ELO. So what? Who gives a fuck? Nobody cares. I don't care. You don't care. The fuck? Let's say I get really good at chess. I dedicate my entire life to chess and I get good enough to the point where I can compete. That's not possible, by the way, because I'm not that smart. Every person in the top 100, top 10 or top 100 in chess ranking, it was like a ultra child prodigy. This is not a territory I can possibly fathom to compete in. I don't have enough experience, I don't have enough understanding of chess theory, I don't have an understanding of openings. I simply cannot think. I barely saw like two, three moves ahead of me. I barely, I saw like a one move ahead of me, maybe two moves, one, maybe one move. If I was feeling somewhat okay, my mind was distracted, my mind was completely and utterly blocked. I wasn't at my full functioning best. It made me angry. I got checked in by my friend. I used to beat this guy every single fucking time. He checked, and now he got like three losses over me. I got like what? No. I have two losses over checkmates and a few losses. One, two, maybe two or three over time. I got like five losses in total. I don't want to check. But I'll check. I'm not going to I just, I just lost to this guy as well, so that puts me at 467, not 4. He's in crystal. He's in higher rank than me. I'm in silver. He lost twice before this. He won twice, lost three times. He's like, you know where you deep in this over chess. I'm a very competitive person. Did he lose Elo? I have ten loss. What? I have ten losses over him. I don't have. I don't have positive KD over him anymore. I have 5 wins over him, I have 10 losses over him. See that? So I used to be better than him. There's no way I have won against him 5 times, it's more than that. I have 10 wins, 5 losses, what the fuck? Okay, I win the majority of them. Confusing me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, Two, three, four, five. Okay, 
So he has five losses against me. I have five losses against him. I have ten wins over him. I have a 50% chance of winning some shit. I don't, know. I don't remember exactly. So I think my record's even good against him. It's 10 5. So I won against 10 times. And a lot on checkmate, a lot on time, whatever, whatever. I'm used to winning. And I lost embarrassingly. Honestly, I think to myself, what the fuck am I doing in my life? I think to myself that this is a huge just waste of time. Waste of emotion. Waste of thought. I probably burned like five, maybe six hours today. I woke up. Every moment, from the moment I woke up is, is but waste of time. I can tell you that for sure. I can try to, you know, recuperate that time again. I'll probably take, I'll probably use all this anger, energy, into a workout. And after I'll, I'll take a cold shower, try to just mitigate all the anger and hatred that's seething around my heart. And then after that, I'll try to be productive as, as much as I can, I possibly can. I'll get all the work done that I need to do, video editing, all that shit. I keep saying video editing, but wh where the where the fuck is my video editing? That's even making me more pissed. Considering the fact that I, I, I've been, I, I've been on a hiatus for like, more than a year plus. More than two years plus. Three years plus, I haven't been doing the work I needed to do. I haven't put in the grind I needed to put in. And it's hurting my soul from very within. From the very, from the very within, my, from my heart, it's hurting my soul. Only with these uncut videos, I'm actually consistent with. It's kind of sad to say, but this is one of the only things I actually have. Like I can say, yeah, I got this channel going for me. I have this, I can keep going with this channel. I'm reaching a boiling point, ladies and gentlemen. I'm reaching a boiling point when I'm telling myself it's not fucking worth it. I'm not seeing any visible ROI on the video games, on this, on that, on that. I'm not seeing any of it. As soon as I got the PS4 back, I go back instantly because of grinding. Instantly to video gamer mode. Where's my productivity? Where's my worrying about life? Where is my work? Where is me? The grind set mode of me. The one of self-improvement. The little video games break me. I think myself, I had a choice. I had a choice this morning to turn on the PS4 and play. I had a choice this morning to... I had a choice this morning to, you know, reply to my friends that were nagging, nagging me on to play. I had a choice this morning to say no to my friends that wanted me to hop on VC and Discord. I had a choice. And every single choice I made that life, I had a choice in chess. I had a choice in my life, I had a choice in the video games, I had a choice in the VC, I had a choice in everything. And I picked the worst choice for every single one of them. And it's starting to hurt my soul from very fucking within. All the choices I've made so far have not been congruent, congruent with the things that I want to be and what I want to do in life. Now I'm going to compensate. Push-ups, pull-ups, work out, productivity, work, work, work. Compensate, compensate, compensate. But something, somewhere, something, somewhere deep into within my heart, it's not going to feel right. I'm going to feel very pissed still. I'm going to feel incomplete. And I know I wasted all that time. Bro, it's what, what, what time is it, boys?
It's 6 p.m. Today I woke up at 7.30 a.m. I've wasted 11 hours of my time. 11 hours. That I'll never get back. That I'll never recuperate. I think I'm gonna sell my PS4. I'm gonna sell it for like 200, 300 pounds. I think I'm not even sell it for that much. It's let's let me search up the market. It's my fucking favorite market. It's is brand new PS4 Slim. 200 pounds, 300 pounds maybe. My factory reset, and after I factory reset. And all the games are gone, all the accounts gone, and everything is gone, and you know, I can never get it back, etc. etc. I'll just sell it. I might sell the TV as well uh, if I can. That's about it. That's about it, boys. My anger is... I keep speaking about it because it's the only thing I can possibly think about. My anger. I think I'm never going to have to touch a video game again. From this day onward, from this hour onward, I'm never, ever touching a video game ever again. I'm done. I'll try to get my clips when I'm playing. But even then, I'm hesitant to do that. I might just delete them all. If I delete them, I can save myself a lot of time. Or potentially, I could have a, another choice. I could take them all. I could edit it all. I'd have I don't know five thousand videos and stupid shit like that. Crazy number, I know, but you know it's entirely possible with the amount of videos I have. Maybe a thousand, two thousand videos. Upload as much as I can within a day. Upload, 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 upload. And then after that, maybe if I establish myself, uh, not even, not even then, I'll just delete all my videos that I have say, uploaded. TikTok, Instagram, etc. Et so delete all Twitter. I call it a day. My anger has blinded me to what my true purpose is, and that is to make money, and that is to get into shape, and that is to improve my mental health. Is my mental health being improved when I play these video games that make me so blindly angry to the point where I make a fucking boulder-sized hole in my desk? Is my mental health improved in any shape, way, or form? Is my physical shape improved in any way, shape, or form? Is my wallet improved in any way, shape, or form? No, I'm just spending money. I'm spending time, and time is money, right? This is all bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. All bullshit. Live mediocre, die mediocre. What am I doing? I'm living mediocre. And I'm doing myself to die mediocre. And it's fucking annoying. I'm done with this shit, man. I want I want this to be the moment where you know the you always in the geeks that quit video games and then they all oh, quit video games and now and now they're really successful in real life and everything. But I want to be that. Because in real life I rarely feel that level of anger to the point where I can literally cave someone's head in. I can literally hunt a hippo with my bare hands. I could literally destroy brick with my knuckles. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. My, my knuckles will probably be destroyed. And I probably wouldn't, wouldn't be able to hunt a hippo with my bare hands either. Because they're probably fucking aiming me a one chomp, bro. Let's be realistic. I'm not going to cave someone's head in. But I do get the feeling. I get the feeling, I get the feeling, I get the feeling. And they're waiting on my soul. 
I think for the benefit of my mental health, I'm just gonna quit, bro. Quit while I'm ahead. Send a condolence message. Say I don't want to play games anymore. I don't want to do this shit anymore. I'm almost 18. I for the next two weeks of my life, I need to get my life back on track. That's when my trainingship ends. That's when I need to be looking for another trainingship. That's when I'm doing my other short adult courses. My fault, ladies and gentlemen. It's my fault that I'm just mad. It's someone else's fault. Completely and utterly my fault. It's um, still sun out, which I'm happy about, but uh, the sun is still out, which I'm happy about, but then again, for how long more and Wash dishes, finish traineeship work, finish creating professional profiles, create presentation, video editing. The list is endless. I had a shitty meditation session as well. No, I think about that time. Not that time. But I think about the life that I could have lead, led had I made different choices that are completely congruent and completely relevant to the choices and the life that I want to leave, lead. Let's say I had 
granted, especially hard on video editing for like around the three years that everyone was like laughing at me and shit. You see, I grinded heavily. Bro, by now I'll be famous. I have thousands of videos of content put myself out there in the algorithm. Let's say, for example, that I chose to, you know, not play the video games forever. I got a peaceful back, didn't play the video games again. I could have been something completely utterly different. I could have focused on my my own goals. Now I wouldn't be fucking catching up with the video editing software and shit. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be catching up with the shit. I wouldn't be doing it at all. I'm not gonna edit any more epics videos. I'm not gonna edit any more make mimic videos. I'm gonna edit completely I think my videos only. I'm gonna edit the mimic video up to what happened so far. But that's not it. This is emotional turmoil. I think about the life that I could have led if I made better choices. This is completely and utterly emotional turmoil. I'm fucking tired of it, man. I'm with this shit. I'm just gonna take my shit and go.